Going back um, last May, I believe it was, uh, out in Flagstaff, we did attend the Overland Expo West. And there was a vendor that actually had a, uh, a trailer that was made from um, a Tacoma. I was with the chief engineer at the time, and he and I were chatting with, I said, you know, who better than to build a trailer than us? I mean, we have the resources, we have the capacity to do so, we have the knowledge. Uh, basically, that's kind of how it sprung to life. Just kind of spitball and then kind of back of napkin sketches, let's come up with some ideas and we put it together. The first thing I look at when I see something like this is run it through the bandsaw and start from scratch. Let's make this sucker extreme as possible. I want to have a shower. I want to have a toilet. I want running water. I want a stove. I want a refrigerator freezer. I want propane. I want hot water, not just water. One thing I think everybody understands about SEMA when, when you've been there a few times is that it is about extremes. It is about over the top. It's in Vegas. Of course it's over the top. This trailer could be anything from a utility trailer all the way up to an overlanding trailer. We're back at our shop now on the Toyota campus. This is where the magic happens. The Overland trailer itself is going to have that feel to it. It'll have scissors lift. It'll tow nice. You can see kind of the bicycles hanging off the back. With the Overland experience, you want to be able to pull this trailer with just about any kind of vehicle. But I foresee it right now, Forerunner or Tacoma. I can show you some more stuff that, that will be going into the box. So here's, here's the generator. This will be inside one side of the box and it'll be on roller so it comes in and out. This is a really cool refrigerator freezer. You know, as you're driving out there, it will charge it, run it, get it cold. You're gonna wake up the next morning and it's still gonna be at 45 degrees. So it'll keep everything cold. And this is the uh, sink and the cooktop. There'll be a, uh, a drain that comes out the bottom of that that'll drain back into the gray water. The beauty of it is, you can have the comfort of, say, glamping. But at the same time, you can just be packed up in 10 minutes and you can hit your next spot, whatever that spot ends up being, wherever your Tacoma or Forerunner will drag you to. Hi, I'm David Zartman with Four Wheel Drive, Toyota Owner Magazine and Media, and we're building the ultimate overlanding Tacoma. This is a Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. The TRD Pro comes from the factory with a lot of fantastic features like the desert air snorkel intake. It comes with fantastic Fox suspension, the locking rear differential. And so it's an absolutely fantastic platform. Overlanding kind of just exploded almost overnight for many years. It was all about rock crawling. A lot of fun, a lot of industries built around rock crawling. And then just kind of out of nowhere, people started to realize that there's a whole nother world of fun which involved building a truck a different way in the overlanding way, which was the roof racks, the tents, the refrigerators, different style bumpers, different style of suspension, where it wasn't so much about banging through rocks, it was about a destination. It, was, it started getting into lifestyle. When you think about exploring, you want a truck that's gonna get you there. You want a vehicle that's gonna get you there. Number one, flat out, it's Toyota. It's just unheard of to have these things break. And so, as an overlander, we want that. We want that redundancy. We want the quality. And today, we're at Truck Covers USA in San Diego, California. We're gonna put on their Made in the United States roll cover over the back and on top we're going to mount uh, Yakima towers and a rack arrangement that integrates and we're gonna put a Yakima Skyrise tent on uh, the back bed of this overlanding Tacoma. So we work with a lot of fantastic companies building this overlanding Tacoma. Companies that are really dialed into the overlanding world and they understand it. CBI Off-Road supplied front and rear bumpers, sliders, and complete armor. Max Tracks, traction boards, Rotapax fuel and water cells. Come Up supplied the winch. Tires are from BF Goodrich, the KM3. Wheels from Method, again, absolute quality. Prinzu roof rack with rigid industry lights. Rigid industry, of course, has a fantastic relationship with Toyota. We retain the rigid lights, the fogs in the bumper, and then we put rigid 20-inch light bars in the bumper and a 40 inch up on top. A Tacoma is at the heart of the build. Everything else just adds utility to it.
So we're super excited. We're almost done with this overlanding Tacoma. We do have one more really exciting thing we're gonna put on the engine. We're gonna add that Magnuson supercharger at Magnuson headquarters in Ventura. Super excited. It's a new unit. Um, they've just released it and it's super excited to see how it goes on and uh, really juice up this truck. Today we are supercharging a third gen Tacoma and so far the truck is stock on the powertrain. It's been modified elsewhere. So the improvements we're looking to see on the truck will be some more power through the mid-range. That'll help offset any added weight to the vehicle and also just help the drivability of the vehicle uh, going off-road, hauling around you know, any excess equipment and just making it easier to drive. The biggest hurdle designing the third gen Tacoma supercharger was getting the uh, belt up to the supercharger itself. We actually had to design our own belt drive for it, so it's an added uh, belt line off of the crank pulley. It's a very tight area to work with, but it was the only way to do it, and at the same time, it improves the durability and longevity of both the engine belt and the supercharger belt. For overlanding, this build and the parts that are on it are gonna make people's eyes pop. It's gonna get them excited. And when we show them the pictures and we show them the video and we show them all of our media of all the parts we put on and they realize what this truck can do, one word, it's gonna inspire them. Overlanding is possibilities. Hello everyone, and welcome to Toyota's SEMA 360 Showcase. I'm Ed Laukas, Group Vice President for Toyota Marketing, and I'm thrilled to show you what we've got in store for this year's SEMA program. Now, of course, I would rather be talking to you from the show floor in Vegas, but I'm really excited that everyone has tuned in from afar. Now, when SEMA decided to go virtual, we knew we wanted to be part of it because SEMA is always a chance to showcase our imagination and our passion for cars. So for 2020, we're tapping into performance, both on and off the pavement. Now the excitement continues to swell for our new Supra and our trucks, well, they're legendary too. So for this year's SEMA, we decided to reveal the content in two ways. And today we're coming with the first wave, showcasing a handful of special builds. It's no secret that Toyota's off-road routes run deep, going back to the first Toyota 4x4 pickups in the late 70s and our legendary FJ models. You can say when it comes to off-roading, it's really in our DNA. Now, the word overlanding may be a new word for some of you, but it's becoming increasingly popular this year as more people get out and explore roads off the beaten path. Today, I want to share what our friends at Four Wheel Drive Toyota Owner Magazine have been working on, the Overland Ready Tacoma. Now, one look at this creation and you can see it's the ultimate off-pavement rig. The builders for four-wheel drive started with the Tacoma TRD Pro and converted it into a full outdoor machine. There's a Yakima four-person tent on top, and there's even fuel and water storage for added on-the-go convenience. Magnuson Superchargers developed a roots-type blower and fitted it under the hood of this very special Tacoma to make any mountain into a molehill. And I encourage you to check out the full details of this awesome truck right here on our SEMA 360 page. Now, after we introduced the Supra last year, Supra fans and the aftermarket responded and the customization creativity has been over the top. Now the ornamental conifer GR Supra is a true work of art created by artist Nico Sclater. Phrases like true to form and lightning response serve as nods to the past and present Supra attributes. This bold and eye-catching creation is simply stunning and I think it's a real cool tribute to the lost art of sign painting. Now, let's dive into some racing news because, well, I think everyone knows I love and live racing. The new GR Supra is proving to be a great race car in a terrific addition to the Toyota Motorsports program. And I'm happy to share two incredible Formula Drift builds. The first driven by Ken Gushi and the second piloted by 2015 Formula Drift champion, Frederick Osbo. Based on the stock GR Supra that kicks out 382 horsepower and 365 foot-pounds of torque, these bad boys now produce over 1,000 horsepower and 900 foot-pounds of torque. Now that's some serious power. Look for them in the Formula Drift Pro Class and in the Winter Circle too. Now these vehicles are all awesome, but there's more to come. And even though our Wave 2 builds aren't quite finished yet, we want to give you a special behind-the-scenes look at our GR Supra Sport Top and the TRD Sport Trailer. You can check out episode one 
for both these builds right here on our showcase. And we'll be dropping more episodes soon, so keep an eye out. Thanks for joining us today for the launch of SEMA 360. And remember, there's still more to come. You won't want to miss it.